Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Bonds, the fortnightly podcast from INR Bonds. I am Arjun Patsati. And in this week's uh, uh, fortnight's podcast, we are going to talk about the sharp fall in three-year corporate bond deals. And uh, those of you who have been following our podcast in the last, for the last many uh, months, would have noticed that we have been pretty much uh, advocating investments in three three-year corporate bonds largely because of the fact that the yield had gone up and uh, there was an, uh, there was a sense that uh, uh, liquidity could ease and uh, that rbi could pause on interest rates or maybe they are uh, at the end of their interest rate cycle even though the, even though they are not going to bring down rates in a hurry so the if you uh, so the takeaways from this podcast would be uh, why the sharp fall in three year corporate bond deals and uh, what should the investors do or financial advisors advise their clients on investments in corporate bonds what is the tenor for investments and do three year bonds still look attractive uh, um starting before that if you are a financial advisor the best place for you is inr bonds partner portal where you can uh, uh come in, come into the partner portal check all the uh, benefits that you get from inr bonds right from the information on the bonds to uh, the price discovery and to the ease of transactions for your clients so come into inr bonds log into partner portal uh, sign up with inr bonds and see your fixed income assets grow under management um uh, um, so start let's get back to the podcast so three year corporate bond deals were the three year psu bond deals uh, that were trading at levels of 7.8 to 8% uh, uh, just a month back is now uh, trading at levels of 7.3 to 7.5% so they have fallen very sharply three year triple a bond uh, corporate bond deals have also fallen just to give you an example tata capital had um, a triple a issuer had come out with a three year bond issue at 8.3% last month and the same bond is quoting at 7.8 to 7.85%. So, very sharp fall in yields. The question for investors is will this sustain? And uh, because of the fall in yields, should they look at three year bonds or should they look at other options available? Uh, let me answer that question uh, just before that. Just some of the reason why these yields have fallen is. Twofold. One is that um, uh, towards the end of March, there was a tightness in liquidity and uh, a lot of changes were happening in the uh, uh, budget and the uh, finance bill. And everything put together uh, pressured uh, corporates and there was a huge demand for credit as well. If you look at the bank's uh, credit, uh, credit, uh, credit deposit ratio, that is, uh, credit is growing much, much faster than deposits. And this is creating a pressure on the liquidity in the banking system as well. So all this put together had made cost of funds very tight for high for corporates, and uh, they had to shore up on the liquidity and capital uh, liquidity as well because of the sharp for, uh, pace of rise in credit uh, credit growth. Um, hence, uh, this drove up the cost of borrowing, and uh, corporates were scrambling to borrow uh, borrow funds from the market to make sure that they had enough funds to go tied over the financial year end. So coming into April, a lot of factors um, helped the bond yields to come down. One was RBI pausing on rates and uh, say, citing that while they are still uh, very wary of inflation and uh, the policy is not accommodative, but is still in a tightening mode, they just held back this month uh, uh, in April just to watch what are pre effects of previous rate hikes. And also the system liquidity, that is the money in the system, also eased up considerably and um, largely due to many other factors, including strong foreign flows into equity markets and many other factors, which put up, pull up, pulled up foreign exchange reserves as well. And all this also brought down the uh, yields. So, and uh, at the, towards the end of the year, the mutual funds in the last three days had collected about 40,000 crores of um, funds. Uh, largely, as investors rush to um, take advantage of the three-day window to uh, get indexation benefits on uh, debt products, so all that money had to be invested, and that it this drove the demand for three-year bond deals. Uh, also, it was helped by the fact that GSEC yields also fell considerably. The ten-year yield fell from seven point three seven point four percent to seven point one percent. The five-year yield fell from to seven point two percent to seven percent. So all this helped the uh, three-year corporate bond deals to 
Paul Chapley. Now, the, the question is uh, at these levels, that is three year PSU is at around the three, 7, 7.3 to 7.4, a five three year to play around 7.8 to 7.9. And uh, the lower rated bonds, uh, Chola Mandalam, uh, which is a AAA issuer, came out with. Um, uh, with the public debt IPO at uh, two year at 8.25, uh, going all the way to 8.4% for five years or so. And uh, you had, uh, so you have other in the funds, uh, large companies also looking to raise funds uh, that could all be around this uh, range, uh, maybe slightly lower. But uh, from, from these levels, three to five, three year bond deals are looking uh, to be reasonably priced. And um, while uh, hence uh, what the, the f further fall in uh, yields is not expected in the near term, but uh, the yields can definitely stabilize around these levels. So investors looking to uh, invest in uh, if, uh, earn three-year returns and uh, are happy to uh, get the best credit for a three-year and earn reasonable returns can park the money in a three-year PSU bonds or three-year to play bonds. Uh, if they want a slightly better uh, uh, trading opportunity, they can go up to five years of bonds as well and um, wait for a year or plus to get uh, to see how interest rates move and uh, the liquidity situation is and how the RBI is looking to uh, whether rate hikes have been done, etc. And if that that could also give a good trading opportunity for investors where they hold five year bonds and then it, after one to two, one and a half years, they sell it down. Um, and they could they could make decent capital gains and capital gains on listed bonds is only 10% if you hold it for a year plus long term capital gains. Um, and this is also a possibility. Else, investors can look at um, uh, bonds that are in good credit. Uh, in the double A to A category, uh, yielding between eight and a half to nine and a half or ten percent. So these are the options available for investors. Um, on the GSEC side, uh, again, uh, ten-year GSEC yields at these levels uh, could be again um, uh, priced in to, uh, for all the positives. Um, not it's maybe it also gives an indication it may not climb back to seven and a half percent, seven point five percent levels. It could stabilize in a range, and that could give that could make corporate bonds more attractive. You could also see that there could be once the supply starts coming into corporate bonds, typically in the beginning of the fiscal year, which is April, May, and June, there is a, a lower supply of bonds as corporates work the budgets. But after that, the supply will pick up, and uh, once the supply picks up, then the yields could actually be more reflective of uh, the market conditions, overall market conditions. So here, that could. Uh, temporary demand supply mismatch in April has brought down the yields, but that could correct. But having said that, um, it's not. It's un at this point of time, it does look unlikely that it's going to go up very sharply from these levels. Um, so, hence, uh, for financial advisors looking to uh, invest for their clients in uh, bonds, given the attractiveness of bonds over their other products, including FDs and mutual funds, they can look to invest in uh, depending on the risk appetite. Anywhere between 7.3 to 7.4 percent on PSU bonds, three years, uh, um, 7.8 to 8 percent for AAA bonds, and over 8 percent for other bonds as well, uh, depending on the re required requirements of return and their own risk risk assessment of that client. Investors could too can actually uh, take the risk profile on INR bonds now, and um, once they take the risk profile, they can judge what kind of what bonds they want. Click on to INR bonds and take your risk profile. Um, uh, and if you're uh, if you're looking for uh, for the best curated list of bonds, download our app Quick Invest by INR Bonds, which which gives you uh, the best curated list list of bonds available for investments in the market. Um, you can choose the bond based on returns and your own risk profile. Uh, check all the information that is available, including the best of price discovery and uh, go through a seamless in-app investment process with the full support from the INR Bonds technology and the uh, support team. Thank you for listening in. Do follow us on our podcast channels.